hello it's me hey guys it's Chelsea I look rough as fuck right now but that's okay um hey guys it's me I uh, hope you can hear me the air conditioning in um, this camper that I'm in right now sounds like a jet engine so I'm gonna try and talk loud enough so you can hear me so yeah I thought maybe I could vlog today this experience <laughs> Um, so I've mentioned in my YouTube videos that a lot has been going on in my life personally. So I kind of just want to talk about it a little quick at the, a little quick, very quickly at the beginning of this video because it's just kind of like a preface of where I'm at, why I'm here, what the situation is. So basically, Josh, which is my boyfriend, if you don't know, um, our four years of not continually being together, but four years of being in each other's lives, being together, uh, is going to be January 2nd. So anyway, did I say 22nd? January 2nd. Anyway, so, you know, he has been just like my best friend since high school and anyway so I don't have to explain to you it's it's a very it's a relationship and we take it seriously and recently he took a I guess you could call it like a job offer that is like almost three hours away from where like both of our family where I was living and our families were living and stuff and where pretty much our relationship had always been so it's been a struggle our relationship has turned into like a long distance one he is living in a camper for now because he is in a place in Florida where it's really expensive to live and I don't want to give too much away about what he's doing here and stuff for his privacy but yeah basically living in a camper because it's the cheapest living option here and this is my first weekend visiting him um, where we are and being in the camper and He's been gone a lot of this morning doing some work stuff even though it's Saturday he still had some work to do which sucks I thought we were spending the whole weekend together but we're not I'm just sitting in this camper with this loud ass AC the Wi-Fi for the place isn't working so I can't watch Netflix or anything it's just been a shit show since I've got here it stormed like crazy last night it's gonna be cold for Florida cold today and yeah so he's gonna be back around one and hopefully we're gonna go do something see some sights um, to get to know the place where he's gonna be for a while this job is most likely gonna be for another like year or so but I told him I definitely can't move down here and like live in this camper if you know we're not really sure what the future holds but as far as like our future like I can't live in this I mean just it's just so tiny and it's I, I just don't like it so yeah so I caved in and got McDonald's I was gonna vlog driving there but it was right up the street and I'm glad I didn't cuz it's like I had to go past the interstate to get there and it was just kind of crazy and the roads are wet and yeah so I got a um, vanilla iced coffee which is surprisingly amazing um they did a good job this mcdonald's is actually here let me turn it to me this mcdonald's was actually connected to a gas station i'm not familiar with this area at all so i like googled nearest mcdonald's and it had the worst reviews it was like this place is fucking gross and blah blah, blah. it's connected to a convenience store it's connected to a gas station like i've seen that before it's a little weird but it's whatever a mcdonald's is a mcdonald's like it's cheap fast food so let's see if they got my order right I literally all I can get there as a vegetarian can I put this up on something all I can get there ooh, as a vegetarian is um, I'm glad they started doing all day breakfast because I can get the egg McMuffin no egg McMuffin meal no Canadian bacon with a large vanilla iced coffee and I read their reviews and I thought they were gonna have a problem with me like not doing that Canadian bacon like they it says somehow always gets my order wrong so let's see 
please let there not be any Canadian bacon. <gasps> no Canadian bacon. It's just egg and cheese, y'all. I was worried because usually they put that little note on top. But yeah, that... Sorry, this view is like terrible in my thing. Um, I'm not like an eat on camera mukbang type person, so I'm gonna let you guys go so I can eat my food. Then I gotta go to the office and ask them what the fuck is up with the Wi-Fi. So, yeah. I just wanna say real quick, I just finished my breakfast. This is one of the best McDonald's breakfasts that I've ever had. Like the, you know, it's not special, but the McMuffin was really good. Hash brown was perfect. The coffee is perfect. I got in and out. Um, probably wouldn't be that way around lunchtime, but got in and out and yeah, that was that was really good. So it's funny, like reviews online, you gotta take them with a grain of salt because you never know how your experience could be. Everyone there was nice. They were like rude people. But maybe if you dine in it's a little different. There's more of like a you know you get to really see what's going on in there versus the drive through but anyway, so I'm actually gonna get ready, put some makeup on, just cause I, I'm, I'm just not, mm, my skin is really breaking out, and I'm just not really feeling too great about it right now, so, um, to continue the vlog and everything, I'd prefer to just put a little makeup on, feel, feel good, so, yeah, I'm gonna do that now, and then go to the office and stuff. Do you see how nasty my hair is down here? It's, like, there's kind of like a wet feeling in this camper and I think it's because it rained so bad last night and it was really humid last night and it sucks in air from outside for the air conditioning so it's kind of like being in a really like musty car you've ever been in like a musty car that's what it feels like like my clothes feel kind of wet my hair feels kind of wet it's really disgusting <laughs> so I'm not gonna take you through the whole routine and I'm sorry the lighting's kind of bad it's a mixture of natural and there's like a fluorescent light there this is the shower it's actually pretty pretty big ish for um you know a camper size thing um but yeah it's something something I always think about when I'm in situations like this where um you know you're alone for like long periods of time and this is like you know just a couple of hours but this is something I think about a lot is like the human need for being social, it's actually really, really important because I know um, in college and um, at one moment in my life where I was babysitting my um, sister, it's her now ex-boyfriend, but it was her boyfriend at the time's dogs, and he lived where my in my college town or whatever, and so he wanted me to watch the dogs one weekend while him and Ashley were gone, my sister. And I was like, sure, I mean, I live over there anyway. So I stayed there and I went like stir crazy cause I was just by myself and it was like a long weekend. I was there from like Friday to like Friday to Sunday. And I don't know, even just three days, that's a long time. And just the human need to be social is so powerful. I mean, even just, like these couple hours of being here like I felt like I was going a little stir crazy and that's why I decided to um I'm, I'm being so loud I wonder if people can hear <laughs> um that's why I decided to make a video because it is just so impactful and it's something I think about a lot and I actually make a weird parallel with it I think about animals that need to be social that unfortunately sometimes are kept in unsocial situations like sugar gliders and stuff like that um, different animals and stuff that you like need to own in twos and I always think about them when I'm feeling this way you know where I'm alone for long periods of time maybe starting to feel lonely and sad like oh my god that's probably how that animal feels you know animals that need to be social it's very depressing and a very sad existence if they're not able to be that way so yeah it's just something something I think about sometimes I know it's weird to think you know make parallels between a human's lonely depressiveness when they're alone for long periods of time and an animal's but it's true I mean we're animals and it's like the same thing we're social creatures 
And it is very important to get out there and be as active as possible in society. Of course, if you have social anxiety, you know, there's different things to that. But it's just important to, it's important to be out there in life because it's very, very sad um, feeling that way. Feeling like very alone and just like absorbed and like tired and just really sad like that's how I was feeling but then I got up I'm like you know what I don't really want McDonald's I'm hungry but I don't really want McDonald's but I'm gonna get up I'm gonna go out have a social interaction <laughs> it was just a quick like here it's the money but you know it's a social interaction make a video with you guys not sit here and wallow in the fact that you know I'm having to sit here for like six hours and freaking wait for Josh to get back but yeah it's very interesting you should think about it sometimes and make sure that if you have an animal that's meant to be social, make sure you keep it social because they will experience feelings very similar to you if you've ever felt that way. Been alone for long periods of time and felt that sort of depressed, overwhelming, tired, like, uh, feeling. So, yeah. My face, I'm not liking it today, man. I got like a huge zit here, a huge zit there. This one could be pop, but I don't have anything here to pop it with, but I'm just gonna watch a YouTube video, finish getting ready, and then I'll bring you guys back. Don't. <laughs> Stop! Stop! Oh my god. Focus on the road. We are on the interstate. So we're officially out in a fucking bout. We are on the interstate headed to a mall. The weather is absolute shit today. So, of course, this is just like when me and Josh went to visit his family in Alabama and the weather was shit. Like, every time we try and do something, the weather is shit. So, when we live our daily lives, it's fine. Oh, okay. But yeah, so off we go. We're here, we think. It's weird, because it looks like just like regular shops, like there's a Super Target. But we're walking all the way over here because Josh wants Moe's. So, and it's sprinkling. And this bridge is pretty. I'd be taking a prom pic here. Oh, you can drive on it, okay, okay. We should have took that one. Oh, whatever. Look at this. There's not bridges and shit like this where we live. There's like fucking fountains everywhere. This is cute. Okay. You know at night with the lights? It's fucking cold. I should have worn my boots. Hey guys, so we're back on the road. I couldn't do much vlogging there. Um, we went into a couple shops after Moe's and it was just like rainy and there was just yeah it just wasn't ideal for vlogging but we went to Michael Kors I got Josh a watch and went to Yankee Candle got my sister um, a present for Christmas so yeah Wait, you got me a watch? Why it's, on, it? it's on you <laughs> Anyway, and Josh is already wearing it as like an early Christmas present. I have something to say about like the Michael Kors stores because like there's at an outlet mall near me, there's a Michael Kors, so it's like a Michael Kors outlet, but they had the same bags in this store, which wasn't an outlet, it was like a regular store. And Josh's watch was priced at $275 and they were having a 25% off sale. So we got this watch for $218. Isn't that crazy? We we definitely think Michael Kors has lowered their prices a lot. And I don't know, yeah, I guess we just got lucky and came in on a sale, but that's like really cheap. Let me see if you can see the watch. You see that? $218. Crazy, right? So anyway, I'll show you the little warmer thing I got my sister. And I will be coming out with a gift giving guide here soon. So as far as for a boyfriend idea, Michael Kors watch there's I, that's really cheap you know it's like a luxury item and it looks like you know 
like a Rolex or something. I got compliments on the last one she bought me all the time. So. Mm -hmm. And that one's in sitting in the box now because he wanted to wear it. So, but yeah. And I was just kind of embarrassed because my bag is from the outlet and it's kind of falling apart. <laughs> so I walked into the fucking Michael Kors store with this poo-poo bag that I'm getting rid of. It's just like falling apart. I don't think maybe the outlet bags are the same design but not the same quality. Like make made. I, I don't know. But anyway, so we're headed back to the camper now. I'll show you my sister's gift. And then we're probably just gonna do laundry and chill and hang out. I mean, the weather is such shit, we can't do anything. Nap. I'm not napping. I've napped too much today. The vlog knows. The vlog knows. <laughs> Okay, so we're back at the camper. I've switched into uh, some comfy clothes. And so this is the bag. Why is this so heavy? Oh, the box is in it. Josh, uh, can we get a better view of your... Put this over here. Personal information. No one's showing that, Josh. I'm just saying. We need the light. Can you see it? It's all gold. Gold plated, people, gold plated. Okay, thank you. And then, for my sister, I got, let me switch this shit around. For my sister, I got her two milk cups and a warmer because hers broke. Mercy on fucking me, oh my god. <laughs> Ah. Here we go. Okay, this is the warmer. She had a white owl before, so we got her a taupe owl. He's regularly. Oh, I got a coupon. He's regularly like fucking 35 bucks, but we got a 30% off. The guy gave us a 30% off coupon. He was dope. And then. This is a kitchen spice, a candle, milk cup, and Christmas cookie. So hopefully she'll enjoy that. So I didn't realize till I edited this that I forgot to film the outro, but I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for watching my channel. Uh, feel free to follow me on Twitter at Life of Chelsea. I'll see you next time here soon for a gift giving guide. Bye guys.